Hi, uh, I'm uh, Phil Groves, I'm the Associate Rector in the Witch at Vale. And this is our first video, we're just experimenting with something and we will use this channel for sermons and prayers and all kinds of things. Last night, up and down the country, families had to have conversations with children. They had to talk about the effect on coronavirus in a very real way in their life. The schools are closing. And it really is an opportunity to talk further and deeper with your children about things that are really important to them. First of all, we have been frightened to talk to our children about the coronavirus. Uh, every child knows something is happening. So I want to say to you, be courageous, speak, find the chance to talk to your children and enable them to learn with you as well as from you. Uh, if you don't speak to them, they will imagine all kinds of horrific things and they will make all kinds of assumptions that you can't control. The first thing to do is take a deep breath. You may want to still yourself. Just pray. I'm recommending you read Psalm 23, The Lord's My Shepherd. Give, you a chance, give yourself a chance to be calm. Now, this situation we're in has never happened before. You are going to be frightened. We are all frightened. We're frightened for our health, the health of our loved ones. We're frightened for our, the economic situation in the country and the world. And we are worried about the economic situation for our families. You need, however, to be calm when you talk to your children. You need to have looked at those fears and discovered your own inner strength. Where does that come from? The Bible says, when we look to the hills, the troubles in front of us, it comes from the Lord. You will need to be honest about those fears. You will not need to say to your child, everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be okay. We need to say, we don't know what is going to happen and it's going to be difficult, but these are the things that we will need to do. Be ready to be informed. Make sure that you know what is going on. The latest advice, trust the NHS. And then be ready to talk with your child. Find that time when it is appropriate. It's probably not bedtime. Find another time so you're able to calm them down for bedtime. And then, oddly, let the child take the lead. Let them ask the questions. You can prompt them with, what have you been hearing about this, this, this thing that's going on? Um, what do you think you know? What are your concerns? What are the questions that you have? If you start asking your own questions, aren't you worried about this? You will raise new fears in their hearts and minds. And actually they want to talk about what they are thinking about. When you speak, be calm and reassuring um, they're going to be worried about themselves, <laughs> but they're also going to be worried about you. They're going to be worried about grandparents, or they're going to be worried about somebody that they know. They're going to have fears, and you need to help them have control. We are all feeling afraid because we don't have any control, but we can take control. It's how we wash our hands. They'll have been washing their hands obsessively at school you know that they can carry on doing that. It's about not getting too close to people. It's about uh, keeping themselves safe and not going to visit Nana or Pops or whoever it is, Grandpa, whatever they call them. Not going to see elderly relatives. They can be in control. Focus on what you're doing to stay safe. How Doctors and nurses are working very, very hard to keep us safe. When they ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, uh, be honest. Don't try and make things up. Say you'll go and look at it together. Be careful with the internet. It's not always the greatest source of, of, uh, of knowledge. Then, now as we enter into a period of being at home, 
Um, as someone who homeschooled children when we lived in Africa, um, we know the importance of routine. Get up, have a routine. Doesn't need to be too fixed, including it exercise, play times, um, make it like a fun school game, do some very basic things, reading, times tables games, whatever it is to keep your child uh, interested and alert. Go and discover yourself something new with them. We're going to learn about something we don't know anything about you and I. We're going to learn together. I'm not just going to be teaching you. And at the end of all that, keep talking. You'll need to keep talking with them, telling them what's going on. They'll now be cut off from their main source of knowledge, which was school. You need to keep telling them, updating them on what's going on. And they can pray with you. If your children have been one of our benefit schools, they will pray at school. They will have learnt about prayer. They can help you to pray. Just needs to be a few moments. You don't need to find complicated words. You don't need a prayer book. You can just say, let's just pray. Jesus, we come to you knowing you are the God of hope. Keep us safe and help us stick together through difficult times.